Well, so as we mentioned, outdoor dining is back and joining us with more on this is attorney Michael Curran from Curran and Curran Law, who represents hundreds of restaurants uh, deciding to stay open during the shutdown as part of a peaceful protest. Uh, good morning to you, Michael. Good morning, Lauren. We sure appreciate you and Paul, all KUSI team and and particularly in the field, Dan Plant, Tommy Sablon, who've been with us every step along the way. Thank you. Well, it's certainly worth talking about because uh, one of the points that you continued to make throughout this was that uh, the outbreaks were not being traced back to restaurants, certainly not outdoor dining. Uh, where where does all of this stand now that outdoor dining is once again allowed? Well, so we sure appreciate the step forward, bringing back outdoor dining and, and letting go of these stay at home and, and shutdown orders. So that's a step in the right direction. But we're not there yet. Our constitutionally protected peaceful protest continues uh, with our restaurants who are not set up for outdoor dining. And besides that, think about uh, you've shown some nice pictures out of Julian. There's a foot of snow out there. Outdoor dining is not exactly warm and welcoming out there in Julian and East County. So uh, we will continue our protest. We will continue to uh, stand with our brothers and sisters in the East County areas, those who are not set up for outdoor dining. Um, but we think that the science, the evidence and logic, as you talked about, it doesn't support shutting down these restaurants for indoor or outdoor dining. Indoor dining with appropriate safety protocols as our clients have been exercising, uh, there is no facts, evidence or science or logic that leads back to the uh, conclusion that they are contributing to the spread. They're simply not. And we, we have that facts, evidence and knowledge now and we've had it for months and yet these orders have continued. So like we say, it's, it's a step in the right direction but we're not there yet. Can you give us an update on some of the lawsuits that that uh, are stemming from this? Sure. So at Kern and Kern Law, we what we took attack of keeping our clients out of lawsuits. Our clients haven't spent a dime, all 500 and change, on us or on lawsuits. We've done all of this pro bono. We're very proud of that. Um, some of the lawsuits in San Diego, what happened, Judge Wolfiel issued a very nice injunction, which was appropriate and based on facts and evidence that if restaurants are not causing the spread, why are we keeping them out of business? That was set aside by the appellate court. And there's a number of nuances in that. That case continues. Uh, up in Los Angeles, another judge issued a similar order, uh, but stopped short of allowing the restaurants to reopen. So we're seeing both in state and federal court, uh, some of these other lawsuits circulate their way through. And what they're talking about is injunctive and declaratory relief. We potentially are considering a, a government tort claim against some of these government entities and claims for damages in the near future. So we're still uh, still working on that, but uh, we'll, we'll keep you updated as that progresses. So what do you say to the people who were saying, hey, even though they're not able to trace outbreaks uh, back to restaurants or at least not a significant amount, it's still creating this idea of defiance and people not following the orders and is, and is putting us all in danger and, and just keeping the, the cases up. I mean, what do you say to the people who are saying, hey, we, we all just need to do our part and, and be locked down. Well, we would say we are doing our part and here's our part. We are standing up for our United States and California constitutional rights. We know we're not creating a health hazard. We know that. In all of this last six weeks, Lauren, we haven't seen one outbreak. We've seen a singular infection that was traced back in, in one of our restaurants of the 500 or so that was traced back to a family gathering and, and, and he was uh, not, uh, had no particular symptoms. So we know very well from our, our, our own constitutionally protected peaceful protests and from all of the science and the studies that have been done over the past 11 months, we know it's not the restaurant. So what we're doing is we're creating a healthy and safe environment. People are happy. It, it's, it's bringing people back. It's bringing health and life back into the communities. And we've seen that so much over the past six weeks. It's been so gratifying to see our communities come back to life. So we think we're helping. Yeah. Were you surprised at the governor's sort of reversal on this and saying that we could open back up when there has been so much attention on ICU capacity and yet we really haven't seen a significant improvement, at least in the Southern California region? Were you surprised by by this this move and did you feel validated in any sort of, of way? Well, we, we have ears everywhere. We're talking with a lot of different people. So we had notices of this, uh, this about 10 days out. Uh, it really started to circulate uh, on Sunday. And then Monday morning, we got the announcement. We were very happy about it. We weren't surprised, but we were certainly uh, glad, like you said, it's a step in the right direction. Um, you know, going, going forward, we think the governor needs to consider opening up indoor dining as well because, so we've opened up outdoor dining, 
but you can go indoor to a salon or barbershop, but you can't go to a bar at all as though what, you know, drinking a beer is bad. You can get the virus. And, but if you eat a chicken wing along with the beer, then that, that, that will shield you from the virus. So these orders are still very inconsistent and not based on any science facts or logic. All right, Michael Curran, thank you so much as always for, for your time. Appreciate it. And I, I know you're giving a voice to a lot of frustrated business owners out there. We are happy and proud to do it. Thank you, Lauren. Take care. Well, still ahead on 